Hey, welcome back to episode number two, taking apart and overhauling an 0360 Lycoming engine. Today, we are going to be, this episode anyway, we're going to be taking apart the center section of the engine. We're going to remove the accessory case, the sump, the oil pump, um, and get everything pretty much to the point where it's individual piece parts, and we're going to be able to get this thing shipped off to the machine shop and get things going. So, definitely an episode you don't want to miss, and make sure you like, ship, share, like, share, subscribe, notify, all that good stuff. Help us out, and we'll catch you later. Enjoy! Okay, rubber mallet. Rubber mallet. Yeah. Try not to pry. Don't pry from that. It's just going to come off the down lines. Then we have here oil pump, meets with the crank. This is your fuel pump lifter rod. Your tack drag goes on the back of the cam. You can see there's a bunch of ash there. Doesn't look too bad. That doesn't. Everything doesn't really look too bad. We'll take it. Idler gears off. Boom. Okay. Good. Dun, 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 dun. So now, let's uh, I don't safety wear these. We'll take these. See if these will come out. A lot of times these are pretty tight. There's the the bolt, mm -hmm. the mystery bolt. So that's the one we have to. Uh, that's the mystery nut bolt, whatever you call it. Okay, there it is. So it's safety wiring. So let me go get the white dikes and we'll cut that. And Take them off so we don't tear them up when we take the case apart. Just what we like doing.
Hey there, we're gonna take a we're gonna take apart the oil pump while we're waiting on other things to get warm and pop apart. So here we go. Take a safety wire off. Actually, shame on me. I always try to take pictures of this stuff. Um, anytime I'm taking apart stuff just to see how they did it. Because it worked last time. Okay. Now another thing you should try to do is when you're taking apart safety wire is if you can this is real important on larger installations is try to take it off in one piece if you can so I believe when I was in EMP school they said that it's real important on turbine engines can't tell you that because I haven't overhauled a turbine engine myself. There we go. Off. Boom. Thing. Thing. Let me get the wrench. Okay. Let's see how this works. Now I'm using the electric impact <coughs> just for disassembly. I'll never use it for putting things together, but it does help out getting things together. Okay. So. Get our hardware off. Booyah, three nuts, three washers. Then we'll flip it over. Have our idler shaft here. It's a little bit of wear right here. Quite a bit of wear, actually. Okay. Noted. We look inside the housing itself. And that housing. That housing has a couple little scuffs. You can hardly catch your finger on it. So we'll take a look at that. And then let's see what kind of gears we have. Oh. So this has one steel gear and one aluminum gear. And I believe these will be replaced with new gears because I don't believe they're airworthy anymore. So we'll end up getting two new gears, a gear set, and a drive shaft. But on that, everything else looks good. This area here looks good. Doesn't look like there's hardly any wear at all. Like I said, maybe a thousandth. You can still see the machine cuts from when they did the original machining on this going across the chamber. So this looks actually very really good. Okay, so that's removing the oil pump. We'll catch you guys later. Oh, here's the other part we'll take out. This is the uh, push rod for the uh, fuel pump. And we got to make sure we put that back in. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem. So, there we go. All pump out. Back to the crankcase. Okay, folks. This engine was stuck together quite well. So, we put the jacks on it. And we've been just playing with the, uh, the heat. And... Um, it finally just popped, so now we're now we're gonna split the case. Um, okay, I'm loose on this side. So let's do it. Two lifters. Okay, let me get this out of the way. One case to the table. Came away.
that's it engines apart so everything looks pretty good the journals all look good these, look, these almost look brand new the bearings a little bit of wear in the mid uh, let's see what these look like Fuzzy tats hot hot mm. oh, this, looks, this looks real good looks very very good a little bit it looks like this is a lot of times this is an assembly debris mm -hmm. those little dots <clears throat> but it really doesn't look bad Dell pin looks good. That 0320 we did a couple years ago, that was almost smeared off. It was ready to spin the bearing, but this looks very good. Look at Oak. That's taken apart a 0360 A4K. We're going to uh, going to spend the rest of the day packing this up, getting ready to go to the machine shop, and then uh, we will get back with you when we're starting to clean up some other parts. But that's basically the uh, disassembly. We we piddled around for. <clears throat> about an hour with the heat gun and the heat to uh, loosen up the adhesive which has probably been here for who knows how long but uh, this is a full TBO engine uh, and it looks pretty good first run TBO engine looks very good do you pull the string out of it? no the string should be smashed but it should be there oh you got the string still? yeah the string that's what's left over yep I put two pieces on it yeah, it looks like you ran too. That might be factory. Who knows? We'll get the logs. We haven't got the logs on this one yet. So anyway, that's it for this episode of um, engine overhaul 0360 like Cohen. See you in the next one.